What kind of trouble can we get in with these amazing stickers that I found at the Dollar Tree? That's what we're gonna find out on this episode today. So let's get started right on our first project. This one was really, really interesting, which might be my favorite Dollar Tree DIY I've ever done. And I, that's a big statement because I've done some pretty fun projects that I love. The first thing we're gonna do is I have a free printable for you. I originally got this image off of the graphics fairy. So I will link the original one that she provided, but I went into my graphic design software and split it up. So it was a little bit more separated. So I'm going to also provide a link for this free printable as well. So if you want to split up, you can do that. And there's a reason why I am doing it that way, but we are going to print this free printable out on some water slide paper. Now water slide paper to me is the best solution that I have found to this point for if you don't have a Cricut machine. I have several Cricut machines and I would probably recommend this if you do have a Cricut machine, go ahead and cut it out on your Cricut machine because it will get you like a cleaner look. But I wanted to show an alternative and the end result, I'm just gonna give you spoiler alert, is really awesome as well. So <laughs> if you don't have a Cricut machine, use the water slide paper, I'll link some in the description box below. It's very affordable and all you need to do is print it out on your home printer. It needs to be an inkjet, not a laser jet. So if you have a laser jet printer, print it out on an inkjet. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three coats 15 minutes apart of a clear crystal glaze. So I will link all of the products that I'm talking about that I can in the description box below. So if you're wondering what I'm using and how I'm using it, and then you're gonna let that fully dry at least 30 minutes. You might wanna give it an hour. Next up, we're gonna need at least two of your, the 11 by 14 frames that they sell at the Dollar Tree. My suggestion would be that you get four of them and you'll see why in just a second. So this is how water slide paper works. We are gonna take the glass out of the frame and set everything aside. And I personally am taking out all of the little tabs that hold the glass into place and you'll see why in just a second. And then we're gonna set the frame aside and just work with the glass for now. Then what we can do is we will cut off this bottom section right here, just as close as we can. And then we're gonna leave the top section. We then take our water slide printed image and we fully submerge it into water. And this will be about 30 seconds to a minute, depending on you know when it starts to activate. You'll know when it's ready, when it kind of starts to slide across the backing and it will release a little bit. And then what you're gonna do is near the top of your 11 by 14, glass, you are going to line up the corners and very carefully slide out the backing. And then you kind of want to dry it off and press it down. And then we're gonna repeat that process with the lower section that we cut off near the bottom. Now, if you're using vinyl, just go ahead and use the vinyl at this point. If you're using the water slide paper, I would recommend letting this fully dry to let the water evaporate. Once the water slide paper has dried and evaporated, we are going to take any of the large stickers that you want. I'm gonna be using this huge peony because I love peonies. <laughs> obviously pink peonies. And I know the peony police are gonna come out and get, give me a hard time. So you say peonies, I say peonies, and it all, it all works. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be using the hydrangea because I'm making a set of two, but you could make a set of four. It depends on what flowers you can find. There's this on the front of this one and then that one on the back, which is a little bit different. It just doesn't have the center, like the yellow in the center. And then on this one, I'm gonna be using the kind of periwinkle hydrangea, but you've got this pink flower on the back. On the, some of the other ones, you've got a big giant white flower. So you could use an assortment and make a, um, a set of like four and really make a statement like on your wall. So there's a lot of options. Once you get the sticker on, here's where the second frame comes in at my suggestion. 
You could just leave the sticker and all of that on top of glass and call it a day, but I really think it looks more finished and more like a piece of art if you then stack another piece of that glass on top of the original one to really finish it off and kind of encase it, okay? That's why I would recommend using two of the frames. And P.S., by the way, where on earth else could you find a 11 by 14 frame for a dollar 25 nowhere else <laughs> nowhere else other than the dollar tree maybe the thrift store but then you won't have like four matching ones then you be you take the frame that you originally plucked all of those little med metal tabs out and you replace all of the glass face down in it and then i took some clear silicone that i picked up at the dollar tree but you can get like a big one from the hardware store and just do some clear silicone to seal all of the outer edges i feel like this is a little bit stronger in the end than the hot glue but you could use hot glue as well and then you're gonna want to let that fully dry which is at least 30 minutes in my case maybe an hour or two just to be safe and then you are left with something tremendously cool this is probably one of maybe most favorite dollar tree diy projects i have ever done i love the finished look it looks so high end so classy you would never in a million years know that this was from the dollar tree okay so here's why i would suggest if you do have a cricut machine cutting it out in black vinyl versus doing the water slide paper because if you are looking very close on the bottom you're on the top part you're able to kind of hide the seam of the water slide paper with a large sticker but on the bottom you can see the kind of the cutout but you do have to be kind of looking close if you're if you're not like examining it with a uh, like a magnifying glass this is a really good finished look and honestly i did it with a water slide paper and i love it i absolutely love it but if you do have the cricut vinyl it would get you a little bit cleaner look overall but water slide paper is super cool in some applications it's even better than um cricut vinyl but it just depends on what you're using it for in this case we have a really really cool look i absolutely adore this project and i hope you do too Next up is also one of my favorite Dollar Tree projects right up there, definitely top five. I started with a wood round that I picked up at the home improvement store. I think it's Lowe's that I get them at. They're about five or six dollars. Oh, I think they're about 12 inches round. And I painted it out in a white chalk paint. Then what I did is I took a stencil that I bought off of Amazon a while ago and I never got around to using it and I thought it was a really, really cool stencil. And I laid it over the top and it unfortunately had kind of been bent a little bit funny. So <laughs> this would probably work for you if you don't bend it funny. But you kind of want to tape it down and then I just took some black chalk paint and pounced it on the stencil and if it wasn't perfect it's not a big deal because we're kind of going for a rustic look here and then I let that fully dry. Once it was fully dry I kind of sanded it down a little bit. We wanted to give it kind of an aged look and then let that dry. Then I took another one of these hydrangea stickers and I also took some of the other little pieces that come with it like the other little ones and I took a big chunk and kind of offset that on one side and then I took all of the other little ones and kind of put them together on the other corner kind of like asymmetrically here now because i w am going to be turning this into like a, a pedestal tray or serving tray or w whatever you want to use it for um, there's a lot of applications i didn't want it to look like i had um, just stuck stickers on top of it so to give it a little bit more finished look first i kind of sanded around the edges to make sure everything was nice and smooth from when we cut off the excess then I took some Waverly varnish in a matte finish and I did 
probably three to four coats because I really wanted it to kind of look like it was an art piece, which we achieved in the end. So I'm really glad that I did that step because otherwise it looked like I had just stacked a bunch of stickers on it and the finished product, it looked like it was art because it had the varnish over the top of it. And then I added a pedestal base that was left over from another project. So it was already painted white. I, it, I had popped it off an old project and then I just used it on this and I attached it with some Gorilla Hot Glue. I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy with it. So I didn't think I needed to use anything stronger than that. The Gorilla Hot Glue does have a very strong hold. So I think it will be sufficient. And in the end, it's a really cute tray that you could put candles on, you could put perfume on. I could see it really looking cute as like a cupcake stand or whatever. And I also think this would make a really cute gift. So maybe put that in your back pocket. We've got some stuff coming up. You know, the holidays aren't that far away. Why not get a head start but I absolutely adore how this turned out and I hope you do too for our next project several months ago I redid a nightstand taking it from a wood nightstand to a sexy chic black nightstand and I thought it would be fun to do something with these stickers to ha add like a fun little element to it. And so what I decided to do is something on the sides. So when you pull out the drawer, it was a little bit, it's boring and maybe it doesn't really matter, but I thought this would be a really fun little surprise element. So I removed the drawer from the nightstand and we taped off everything that we didn't want to paint. And then we did two coats of white chalk paint on the side panels of these this nightstand drawer. And then I very carefully taped off stripes and I did it about two inches wide. And then before you do stripes of any kind, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you'll know my little secret hack, and that is painting over your tape lines with the original color. So when it bleeds, which it always does, even with the best tape, it will bleed the original color and then it will create a nice tight seal, giving you a nice crisp line in the end. Then I took some black acrylic paint from my craft paint that I have on hand and did a couple coats of that and then let that fully dry. Then we pulled back all of the tape, revealing awesome clean stripes and then we had a little fun with the stickers now i thought it would be fun to kind of mix it up so i used these fun ones here and we just wrapped them over the edges of the door we cut them and kind of put them off center on either side and it <laughs> looked really cute and we were just creative with all of the little stickers and they're a dollar 25 so that's not very much and i ended up using about two of them. So very affordable option. And then when we were done, I was looking at it and I'm like, well, it looks a little weird, like the transition of the stripes. So I pulled out some shelf liner that I also got at the Dollar Tree that was kind of a black with a little bit of white zigzag on it. It might be a little bit busy. You could just go back in and use some paint and paint the, the rest of it. But I just thought that was enough to kind of tie it all together. So now when you pull out this little nightstand drawer, you are met with a fun little surprise with this lot of personality. You could do the same idea on the sides of a dresser, sides of a, a nightstand, and have it a little bit more prominent. But I just really think this is a really cute look. I, I love how it turned out. It wasn't very much money, but it's just like a fun little surprise element. And I hope you got inspired by that. So something I really love to do is raid the Hobby Lobby clearance section because they get rid of all of these random pieces of art or signs or whatever. And I personally think they make really good blanks. So I had this one that was $3.24 that I got on clearance. What I like about these is they have a nice frame. This is a nice solid wood base and it's very paintable. So that's what we did on the next project 
project is I did a couple of coats of white chalk paint over that middle section then we let it fully dry and then before I did the next section with chalk paint sometimes it has kind of like ripples I, it depends and then I just lightly sand it down to make it nice and smooth then this next part was a little bit tedious not as easy as our our, our pre-made stencil I found it like an old French script letter that I got off of graphics fairy as well I'll link this one as well and I turned it into a stencil on my Cricut machine and cut it out in vinyl but but this was so tedious to weed and all of that. And I didn't end up weeding the entire thing only because I knew I was gonna be putting a big giant flower over the center part. And I just, I was like, this is taking way too long. So I was a little lazy on that, but it, it all worked out in the end, I promise you. And so finally, after, you know, tediously weeding this letter out, I stuck our stencil down on our blank canvas and then I took some Grecian gold rub and buff and I just rubbed that over the stencil on the out, outer skirts. And I didn't even do anything in the center because again, we are gonna be covering it up with the flower. And then I had to peel back the stencil and it, you know, because it was so tedious and had all of this workings, <laughs> it didn't wanna peel up in one fell swoop. It was a little bit tedious to pull it off. So then once we had that up, all I did was take this white flower right here and stick it right in the center. And boom, we have an instant piece of art. But again, I wanted it to look like art and not like I had stuck a sticker on something. So then I took that same Waverly matte varnish and did a couple of coats on this one as well, just to kind of give it a finished look. And it turned out really cute. I put it on my mantle next to my mirror and I think it's just enough and it turns into this really classy piece of art. And we used just a cast off piece of art from the clearance section and a sticker from Dollar Tree, a little bit of paint, a little bit of rum buff, and boom, a really cute piece of art that looks so much more high end. For our next project, it's so super easy. We are gonna be making kind of like a, a little easy gift box, and I just took one of these white plastic containers from the Dollar Tree that had the cute little scalloped edge, and I wrapped it in some kind of craft paper and taped it and then just sprayed the inside with this serenity blue chalk paint and this spray chalk paint worked really good i can tell you it adheres really good because i got a little on the outside it was really hard to remove so this will hold up i promise you and then i took these little stickers right here and just kind of peeled them and stuck them on as i saw fit and then you have a really cute container that you can use as like a little gift box that's what I kind of envisioned it as. And I hope this gets your wheels spinning to give you ideas of like other things you could do with this, um, just with a little bit of creativity. So I think this looks really cute as a little gift tote. And there, you know, coming up the holidays, there's a lot of applications where you could customize it in that way. But super inexpensive, but really elevates the gift. They can use it as a container afterwards. So it's like a dual gift. So I really hope you like that one. I had a lot of fun with stickers today and I hope you did too. If you enjoyed this episode, here's another one that I think you'll like as well. And if you haven't done so already, consider hitting that subscribe button right here. It's super easy to do and I would love it if you joined the DIY Niner family and to all of my DIY Niners. I just want to remind you once again that you are more powerful than you know. We'll see you next time. Bye.